But if you didn't, there's still one or two things that are removed. I'm the world record holder in chewing gum. I'm not afraid of anything. How is it, honey? It's amazing. Tomato soup. I can feel it running down my throat. Yeah, spit it out. Young lady, I think you'd better... It's changing. Roast beef with baked potatoes. Crispy skin and butter. Chewing, you know. My little girl's going to be the first person in the world to have a chewing gum meal. Yeah. I'm just a little concerned about the... Blueberry pie and ice cream. That part. What's happening to her nose? Her whole nose has gone purple. What do you mean? Violet, you're turning violet. What's happening? Hey y'all, welcome back. So this is gonna be the easiest look I show you all of 2019 Halloween. So I did do my eyes and my face off camera just because you can do it any way you want to. I will list all the products that I use down below as always so you can find out there. But I did go in with a Morphe blush palette to really give my cheeks some color since we are going to be putting a lot of color on the center of our face. So I just took the Juvia's Place Zulu palette and this purple shade in there and I just started buffing this as my bottom layer all over my nose. I then dipped into the Juvia's Place Magic Palette and there's this really deep blue violet color in there that looks almost black but it is the perfect shade for this look you guys. I didn't even know it was going to look as good as it did but it looks amazing am I right? So I'm just taking a dense packer brush and I am putting this all over my nose and then going back in with that brush that I used on that lighter purple and blending them together. I do this quite a few times until I get the look that I'm desiring but I definitely started closer to my nose and then carefully started blending outwards as you'll continue to see. You don't want to go too crazy because you can always add more. Remember you just cannot really take it away. So as you can see I'm starting to spread this out onto my cheeks and above my eyebrows. I then dip into the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette and I mixed that really electric blue and that deeper purple together at first and then I was like that ain't doing it. So I just take the electric blue and I use this to kind of blend some of the edges. I didn't know how this was going to look but I actually really like the touch that this gave this just a little bit more vibrancy. As many colors as you can kind of add on here is going to create better dimension and make it look more realistic. So go as crazy and wild as you want to. Make sure you fill in your nostril holes as well. Moving on to highlighting, I am using the ABH and Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette, one of my favorites you guys, and I am taking the shade Forever Lit to put on my nose. Because it is white, it looks so good and it gives it that blue hue. I'm then taking the shade Kitty Cat because my eye look is kind of pink and using that as my inner corner highlight. And then I mix the two together for my highlight both underneath my brow bone and on the rest of my face as you can see. You guys, this highlighter is so beautiful, but be careful, a little bit goes a long way. Lastly, for lips, I went in with the ColourPop and Alexis Ren Satin Lip in Bare Necessities. As you can tell, I did a very monochromatic kind of pink look all over the rest of my face just so it wouldn't be too busy with everything else going on. I wanted the main focus to obviously be my nose. And Violet Beauregard is a child, so this gives me that more quote unquote childlike appearance. Last but not least, you're going to dome your wig and pop in some bubble gum. And then there you have it, you guys. Violet Beauregard turning into a blueberry. It was so simple and so easy. I really hope that you guys liked it. If you did, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you in my next one. Happy Halloween.